Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about Day of the Dead poker chips. Uh, what is it? Uh, Dia de los Muertos. It's funny, like with Spanish. Some of my friends speak Spanish. I'm from LA originally, and it's funny. <laughs> you learn Spanish like in college or whatever, and they like go around and like try to, you know, boast it. They like you're we're in a store, and they're like they go up to somebody who looks Hispanic, and they're like, "Buenas, cómo estás?" Then and they're just like, "Dude, I'm from East LA, man. Just like I don't want to speak Spanish to you." And they're like, "Oh." Yeah, dude, I, but I mean, I, you know, I went to college and I learned you're just like, shut up, please. It's also funny when they're at Mexican restaurants. I like deliberately troll them. I think I'm just going to have a horchata. They're like, you mean in order. Ta-ta. You're just like, thanks for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of those. They're delicious. So <laughs> shuffle, <laughs> shuffle. Dia de los Muertos. Uh, I know it's kind of out of season, but, you know, it's fun. It's skulls. What can you do? Shuffle up at home. Grab two cards off the top of your deck. And that's your hand. This is my hand over here. And let's see what happens over here. We're going to burn one. Look at this. Look at that. How does this stuff happen? Who's raising with like five jack off suit? Or maybe even suited? Oh, well, I guess. Whatever. All right. What are we at in the burn? I'm sure I'm like pocket kings, right? Oh, ace deuce. I don't know. How do you play ace deuce? It's one of those it depends for me. <laughs> the answer is it depends on what's going on. So let us know what you had in the comments below. Quads. Somebody had quads for sure. You watch this video enough, you'll get quads. All right. So Day of the Dead. Now, many people watching this will be familiar with a movie called Coco where they go in depth to this whole thing. And this is kind of like that. It's a fun party down in Mexico, down in Central America, South America. It reminds me a lot of James Bond, particularly for me in my life when I see stuff like this. Let me know what you think of this design. As far as materials go, these are ordered from BR Pro Poker. Uh, the materials seem very reasonable. Uh, the chips are very hard and durable. I'm trying to stand one of these on edge to show uh, the squareness of the edges, which are kind of square. It's just my table isn't exactly flat here. And I mean, they're of good quality. They're very hard plastic. That's what ceramics are. You can see, as you would expect from the quality of BR Pro Poker, no complaints about quality. One of the interesting things, though, that people complain about, I don't know if complain is the right word, but mentioned to me is that it takes some time for their deliveries, for their poker chips to be made at BR Pro Poker. What am I looking at here? 1,000, 5,000? There you have it. I love the denominations. I love how bright and colorful they are. They're very happy. I mean, even with the skull theme, lots of skull themes, let's roll in a Nevada Jack here, can be a little bit dreary and I think overplayed in the poker chip world. Uh, what else do we have? We have an Old West. We have an Outlaw, I mean. Outlaw poker series. So for me, I really like the execution on these Day of the Dead poker chips. To me, that's just absolutely stunning. So I like the design. I like the material manu manufacturing process. I'll put up the information with the current price. Obviously, prices change and designs change over time. Speaking of design, BR Pro is very good at semi-custom chips. So I haven't checked with these directly, but I know with Tiki Kings, if you want some denomination switched. So if you want like a blue one or something, or you want a denomination somewhere, they can like usually swap them for you. They're pretty good about that with semi-custom chips as well as full-on custom chips. So the nice thing about ceramics nowadays, I need to start into this custom chip thing. I just, there are so many stock chips that I get requests for and people want to see. So still trying to plow through all of these and there's tons of them out there. Thank goodness. It's good to have a good selection. So design, I like denominations. I'm happy with materials. And finally, competitive options. Would I choose these over my beloved Tiki Kings? Uh, it's it's hard to say. Uh, I really let me pull a few of these out so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I just don't have any complaints about the Tiki Kings. If anything, I would just have two sets of ceramics. 
but I'm seriously considering these Day of the Dead just for something, you know, a little different in my uh, in my sets. But I'm trying to think, you know, would I get this for a game? Would I get this for poker? Would I get this for craps? Would I get this, you know, it's hard to say exactly. So still not 100% sure. Maybe some of you will have a thought like instantly, aha, this is exactly what I need. Have uh, some sort of festive theme in your basement. No idea. So let me know your thoughts about these. I mean, they're just a solid contender if you're looking for a set. I'm trying to think, I, I always try to think of something negative to say about something about the chips. And it, I'm really struggling with these. Uh, the edge spots are very modern, so they don't transfer from the side to the face, which makes you don't have to worry about paying extra for edge spot alignment. So very modern edge spots, and you can see they progress, which I really like. Uh, to me, this is this represents what I expect in modern ceramic design. Now, uh, let's do a sound comparison. Uh, they're even priced okay. They're not like trying. To, I don't feel like they're trying to gouge anybody. So we're going to compare them against some Key West, some Crown metal slug chips. Let's do some China clays. Should we throw in some casino chips as well? Let's grab a little stack of obsolete horseshoe Cleveland chips. And let's see how things sound. The lovely Key West. Crown. Crown Casino. ABS metal slug chips. Real casino chips. Paulson reverse hat and cane. And finally, some China Clays. Milano. There you have it. Uh, I love them. It's it's kind of annoying when I have chips that I'm just like, oh, they've done it. They made, <laughs> they made some perfect chips again. That's... Uh, getting old, I know. PokerChipForum.com sponsors us. If you want to know how many chips you need, well, how many 25s do I need? How many 25 cents do I need? Go to the Poker Chip Calculator on PokerChipForum.com. Create an account. Say hi to me. It's a wonderful place. I mean, they have chip design tool and all sorts of amazing things that will help you with your purchase decision, building your set, and any additional set you may purchase. So... You can also visit the links in the description below to see my Amazon affiliate shop. So I make some money off of everything that's sold there. I have some decks, some poker chip sets, various other things. I can use all the help I can get. And be sure to subscribe, thumbs up the video, and hit that bell icon if you want email notifications. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.